The first thing we had to do is to download the firmware into your camera. If you didn't see on how to do it, there's a link on the top right corner of this video or on the description that will show you how to do it step by step. Once the firmware has been installed, you have to reconfigure your camera. Basically, it has been reset to factory default. I did a great Bowman cameras, the 4K and the 6K Pro. Okay, so now we have to select our language. Once we're here, we're gonna press play to see the video clips. And then on the left top corner, there's an arrow that's pointing to the left. So we're gonna click there. And that's gonna show you all the clips that we have recorded so far. In this case, if it's 15 clips per page, if you have multiple clips, you can slide to the left or you can slide to the right to come back. See, there's menus on the side. The first one is to play all the clips. The second one is select. So we're gonna click on that one and then we're gonna select clips. This time we're gonna select three clips. If you hit play on the top, it's only gonna play those three clips. One, two, and three. If we wanna go back, let's hit the arrow on the left top corner. And here you can also delete it. And if we hit the trash can, it will give you a warning whether you wanna do it or not. Now we're gonna click on the X and we're back onto the next feature. And here you can sort the clips by date and time. You can either go ascending or descending, status, upload, time code, scene, etc. And there's also one if you if you scroll down all the way down. There's also media, codec, and duration, which is a great feature which allows you to sort by less than one minute and less than five minutes clips. On filter by media and codecs, all the videos are the same. That's why it doesn't show any other actions. Okay, so now let's click on a clip. And here we're gonna find the information that this clip has. So let's click on the eye on the top. And right here, we're gonna see all the different metadata of the clip. This is very helpful so that we can do retake of the same scene. And if we like the clip, we can click on the heart and it will be one of our favorites. And we also have the option to delete it by pressing the trash can. And we go back by pressing the left arrow. Okay, this is one feature that might be helpful for somebody. If we click on a clip, if we slide to the left, it will show the next video. And if we slide to the right, it will bring back to the previous video. And then we go back into the main menu. Oh, if we click on all clips, it will give you a different menu. I mean, a different format, I guess. Okay, so now let's go back. The next feature is, is actually the media. Here's when you see where you're recording either SD card or the SSD drive or the compact flash card. So we're gonna go back. And then the next one is the cloud. There's no internet connections. Black Magic Cloud login requires your camera to be connected to the internet. Please check your connection and try it again. So you need to be connected to the internet. And that's pretty much it. And then we click X and we go back to play the videos. So the next feature is how to use our camera as a web camera. And for that, we're gonna go into the setup menu and click on the second tab and turn it on by clicking the icon where it says use as webcam. Okay, so now we all we gotta do is make sure we have connect our USB cables from the camera to the computer. In my case, I'm using Type-C to Type-C, but it could be Type-C to regular USB. For this sample, I'm gonna open uh, Zoom and I'm gonna go into applications, open Zoom, and I'm just gonna open a quick new meeting. Just gonna click on it. And as you can tell, it's already connected to. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna open the preference on the video preference and as you can tell it actually give you the the option to use the FaceTime HD camera or the Blackmagic camera. So now when I proceed to move the camera around as you can tell the camera is transmitted the video into the computer into the Zoom meeting. So the only thing that you need is probably a longer cable so that way you can position your camera accordingly. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. So the image, the quality image when you zoom in a Zoom meeting is going to be way better i mean you can use a zoom meeting facetime or even google meeting or anything so it works it works on the 4k it works on a 6k pro and one tip just in case it doesn't work at the beginning um just double check uh, the cable connections and if it doesn't work uh, right away turn the camera off and, and restart zoom or any other software that you're using to transmit the video all right, guys, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. Put a thumbs up, and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.